हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस एन आई टी ट्यूटोरियल बायोशाली इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट रीडर राइटर प्रॉब्लम प्रोड्यूसर कंज्यूमर प्रॉब्लम देन डाइनिंग फिलोसोफर प्रॉब्लम विथ सिंपल एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड एग्जाम्पल्स आई हैव अटैच अ कंप्लीट ओ एस प्लेलिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज मेमरी मैनेजमेंट एंड पार्टिशनिंग लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन सो प्रीवियसली वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस ऑल दी सब्जेक्ट विथ सॉल एग्जाम्पल्स प्रैक्टिकल डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बैंक दिस प्ले लिस्ट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यूअर एंड सेम एग्जाम एज वेल एज इंटरव्यू पर्पज प्लीज शेयर माई चैनल विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब इट नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस ऑल दिस टॉपिक लाइक वॉट एक्जैक्टली मेमरी मैनेजमेंट देन मेमरी मैनेजमेंट रिक्वायरमेंट्स टेक्निक्स कंटिन्यूअस मेमरी अलोकेशन नॉन कंटिन्यूअस मेमरी अलोकेशन एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बैंक नाउ लेट सी ऑल दिस पॉइंट वन बाय वन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट एक्सैक्टली मेमरी मैनेजमेंट एज वी डिस्कस अर्लियर इन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम देर आर मल्टीपल प्रोसेस एवरी प्रोसेस रिक्वायर्ड द मेमरी फॉर एक्सिक्यूशन पर्पज लाइक इन यूअर मोबाइल देर आर मल्टीपल एप एवरी एप रिक्वायर्ड द मेमरी फॉर स्टोरिंग एंड एक्सिक्यूशन पर्पज सो हि ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन्श्योर दैट दे अलोट द प्रॉपर मेमरी टू ईच एंड एवरी प्रोसेस फॉर देअर effective execution sometimes what happen multiple memory share the common memory space so operating system ensure that there will be no any conflict is occur basically memory management is one of the most important thing in operating system without proper manage management your system would be run slow or even in crash that's why memory management important The next topic is memory management requirements. In operating system, there are total six memory management techniques. That is relocation, protection, sharing, logical organization, physical organization, and efficiency. Now let's understand every requirement in detail with examples. Now the next topic is memory management requirements. The first thing is relocation. See. i am giving you one simple example suppose you want to execute your .cpp programming file that is c++ programming file so this file currently stored into the secondary memory but when you want to execute that file so this file goes to secondary memory to main memory so basically every process when they want to execute so at that time for execution purpose that process goes from secondary memory to main memory and after completing the execution again they goes from main memory to secondary memory so this is called as relocation operating system must be able to relocate your process dynamically this is called as relocation second thing is called as protection see sometimes what happen multiple processes they share the common memory space so operating system ensure that one process does not corrupt the data from the another process for that purpose they provide the protection they use different synchronization tools or base and limit registers now the third memory management requirement is sharing as we discussed earlier operating system multiple process share the same code same programming file or same libraries so operating system allow and controlled access of all these sharing things they ensure that there is no any conflict is occur that's why operating system provide sharing common space between the process next requirement is logical organization in operating system all the memory related things can be arranged logically as a collections of segments see here there are some instructions literals then static data dynamic data and in the form of stack so basically this complete organization allows modular programming and efficient memory use cases that operating system provide memory equally or effectively to every other process for the execution that's why logical organization is necessary the next memory management requirement is physical organization as we discuss in operating system there are total two types of memory logical memory and physical memory 
लॉजिकल मेमोरी इज यूज बाय द प्रोग्राम्स और फिजिकल मेमोरी मींस योर एक्चुअल रैम दैट इज रैंडम एक्सेस मेमोरी सो ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इंश्योर दैट एवरी मेमोरी डिवाइसेस इज यूज्ड बाय इफेक्टिवली और एप्रोप्रिएटली एंड आल्सो इफ योर फिजिकल मेमोरी इज इनसफिशिएंट सो ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम यूज वर्चुअल मेमोरी फॉर एग्जीक्यूशन पर्पस एंड द लास्ट मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट रिक्वायरमेंट इज इफिशिएंसी operating system allot proper memory to each and every process for execution so they make sure that there will be a efficient or maximize cpu and memory utilization also operating system ensure that they minimize the fragmentation in last lecture we have discuss about the internal and external fragmentation so fragmentation basically means wastage of memory operating system make ensure that there will be a less wastage of memory but efficient use of memory for execution purpose so these are the some memory management requirements that followed by the operating system the next topic is memory management techniques see here in this particular diagram memory management techniques divided into the two parts contiguous memory and non contiguous memory contiguous memory again divided into the two parts fixed partition and variable partition which is also called as static and dynamic partition then non contiguous memory again divided into the some parts like paging multi level paging inverted paging and segmentation now in today's session we will discuss contiguous memory with their types and also what exactly non contiguous memory in our next lecture we will discuss in detail paging and segmentation first we will understand what exactly contiguous memory allocation see here in this particular diagram here main memory in operating system is divided into the equal partitions see here 5 mb each so in contiguous memory allocation every process used the memory in continuous block purpose right this contiguous memory allocation divided into the two parts fix size partition and dynamic size of partition so first we will understand what exactly fix size partition see here so here main memory in operating system divided into the equal parts 5 mb each now let's assume that process 1 is come and process 1 required the 3 mb memory for execution so process 1 goes to the first field of the memory and executing here but from 5 mb they required only 3 mb so 2 mb is a wastage of memory right after process 1 process 2 is coming so process 2 executed in the next continuous block process 2 required only 1 mb of memory for execution but this is a fixed size partition right so from 5 mb only 1 mb is required so remaining space is 4 mb right so exactly what happen here see here like in your mobile there are multiple built in applications for example in your mobile there is a call logs then setting application notification application is there right so this all are having the pre allocated memory space or we can say fixed size partition so every process executed effectively in that particular memory so here fixed size partition is very easy to implement this is one of the main advantages of it also operating system keep track of each and every blocks that how many memory is left after the execution but what are the disadvantages here see let's assume that suppose process 4 is come and process 4 required the 10 mb of memory for execution so can process for executed here no because there is a fixed size partition 5 mb each but process for required the 10 mb of data you can't execute process for here so this is a disadvantages and this disadvantages will overcome in dynamic size of partition again there are multiple wastage of memory space here right due to fixed size partition so this all concept is called as fixed size partition in memory now what exactly dynamic size of partition see here in this particular diagram in dynamic size partition 
there is no any fixed block or fixed partition as compared to fixed size partition here operating system allocate the memory as per the requirement of process for example now process 1 is come right process 1 required the 5 mb of memory for execution so operating system allot 5 mb of memory only to that particular process for execution right after that process 2 is come process 2 is required the 2 mb of memory so operating system allot the 2 mb of memory for that particular process means there is a less wastage of memory all the memory space is divided as per the requirement of process this is called as dynamic size of partition again i am giving you a simple example in your mobile there is a whatsapp application youtube application and also different online games are there so every application required the dynamic size of partition because you can change or update the data right suppose you are updating the whatsapp application so they add the new features in it means the size is increase sometimes right so this is not a fixed size they required the dynamic size of partition and operating system allot accordingly clear so what are the advantages of it memory space is divided as per the requirement of the process right and no memory wastages are there as compared to fixed size partition now what are the disadvantages the main disadvantages is it is very difficult to implement and also difficult to keep the track of process and also remaining space is there so this is called as dynamic size of partition the next topic is what exactly non contiguous memory allocation see as we discussed earlier in contiguous memory allocation memory is allocated to the process in continuous block one by one blocks are there right but similarly in non contiguous memory allocation means see here in this particular diagram assume that this is a main memory in operating system there are multiple applications are there like temporary files browsers games are there right but non contiguous memory allocation means see browser executed their first tap on the memory location number 17 after that they executed the next tap on 20 location next tap on location number 30 in this way so this all blocks are not in continuous manner right all the memory or execution is scattered on different locations so this is called as non contiguous memory allocation it use the concept of paging and segmentation so we will understand paging and segmentation in detail with all examples in our next session now let's understand what are the advantages here see in this non contiguous memory allocation operating system easily find out the free spaces right operating system use free spaces more effectively for execution next is you can also upload or execute large memory application suppose a particular application required the 20 mb or 30 mb size for execution so you can execute here there is no any fixed size partitions are there right again non contiguous memory allocation supports the multitasking see while using mobile you can play the game again you are listening the music also you are doing the chatting right so you can perform multiple task you are opening the multiple applications at a time this is called as multitasking and operating system provide the memory to each and every applications scatteredly or effectively right and now what are the disadvantages so to maintain all these things it is very complex okay and also cpu need to find out the different memory locations here right and also to maintain the page table or segment table is difficult here so this is called as non contiguous memory allocation now as per your previous year question paper they have asked about explain contiguous non contiguous memory with example for four marks and write a short note on memory partitions for four marks so here you have to explain fixed and dynamic size of partition with examples so thank you all the best keep learning